Hello, uh, in this video I'd like to show you uh, how this LoRa uh, tester is working. Uh, first, uh, I would like to show you what uh, exactly this uh, tester can do. So let's take a closer look. So as you can see, uh, there's a simple menu. Uh, this uh, we, we use uh, two buttons for moving up and down. And when I uh, long press the right button, then the item is con uh, confirmed. So the first one is sending the packet, uh, but uh, I don't have uh, the LoRa setup yet. I will show it uh, in the video later. And you can set many parameters like uh, the length of the LoRa packet. Uh, you can also select uh, the payload uh, uh, with the uh, GPS coordinates for a TTN mapper. Uh, then uh, it can automatically send uh, data every s few seconds or minutes as you like, or you send the packets manually. Uh, if I connect the GPS module, which I sh sh can show later, then here you can see the coordinates. Uh, you choose uh, between ABP and uh, OTAA mode here. Uh, you can send the join command. Uh, you can request uh, that the transmission, uh, the packets are config. Uh, sorry, are confirmed, right? And uh, you can change the port number. Uh, you can also change a lot of bands uh, throughout the world. World. So here are the options: nine hundred fifteen and eight six eight. Uh, you can change the data rate you would like. And if you're you can configure that the network is public or private. You can even change the class so you can receive the packets and the received packets uh, appear here with the data. But I will turn it off so it's more low power and the battery voltage is, is shown and you, you can uh, turn it off uh, so it's deep sleeping. So let's start uh, with the initial configuration of uh, this, this it. So what's inside? So uh, you can see how, how low power the LCD is. It's still showing some text. So you need uh, the core module. This one is with radio, but if you select uh, an R version without the radio, uh, you, you can use it. A LoRa module, battery, mini battery module, and the LCD module. So you stack uh, all the modules on top of each other, like that. I have already programmed this, but I will show you how to reprogram this kit. Over the micro USB, which is here. So first, let's let's connect it uh, to the computer, and first thing you you do you go to bigclown.com to the support and to the documentation. Uh, you go to quick start guide, and here is uh, the playground software which you can download for various operating systems, and uh, when you run it. That it looks like this. Uh, we will not use uh, the radio capabilities or the node red because this uh, will be used just for flashing. So you go to the firmware tab and you flash the firmware. Uh, the firmware, uh, by the time you are watching this video, the firmware will pr probably appear here, but uh, right now uh, it's not published yet. So I will have to go uh, to the project, uh, go to the GitHub and look for the releases and this is the latest release and you, you can cop also copy uh, the url and paste paste it here then i choose uh, the serial port and i will flash the firmware so now it's uh, flashing it's not working so i will have to wait And after that, uh, we will configure the Twinx network uh, console and show, show you how uh, you send the join packet and 
test the data. So the firmware is pretty big with all the functionality. Okay. And <laughs> I choose I choose the wrong firmware. Yeah, I pasted pasted the wrong firmware, sorry. So this this is the one we need. Release and this one, TTN mapper. I have a wrong link in the project, I will fix that. So again, yeah, TTN mapper and flash again. So we can uh, at least we can see we are really flashing the module. So we will start with a clean core module. All right. So you, you create uh, the things that fork an account and then you go to the application. You create uh, some application. This is uh, the, your name, uh, your description and you keep uh, created EUI. So I already have one application and as you can see, I have, I have no registered device, even if it is showing that I have the device, I don't have. Okay, it's now it's flashed. So the firmware is running, all right. And now uh, I will, uh, I will register this device. So I will go to devices, register. Uh, this is uh, my internal name. So I will call this LoRa 11 because the LoRa module is number 11. And we will use over the air authentication OTAA. So we will send join command and uh, we keep uh, the things network to generate its own UE number and the key. So you click register and uh, now the device is registered. Uh, it has been never seen. And now uh, all I have to do is copy these free, free keys, uh, these EUIs and key to the device. We can do it uh, by serial port with AT commands. So I will show it to you. Uh, there's, a, there's a few possibilities uh, how to set it. Uh, you, can, you can search, sorry. You can search on the developers uh, for, uh, portal for a LoRa configuration. And here is uh, explain. No, this is the project, not this one. LoRa AT commands. Oh, here. <laughs> and here is explained uh, the, how you need to configure your uh, terminal program, how uh, which application you can use. I like this H term, which is multi-platform. So just connect uh, to your device, set the right boat rate, uh, set the new line. Remember, you have to select this configuration and connect. All right, and now, now it's working. Uh, because I don't have a GPS connected, then it will say it to me. I also enable new lines here. All right. So you can write AT and it will respond OK. So you're, you're sure that uh, you are have it connected uh, all right. Uh, you can also use uh, Arduino with Arduino IDE, which has this serial monitor. And it's, it's not configured right because it has wrong port. It's USB 1. Okay, so now it's opened also. So you can use also Arduino. So you need to set the NLNCR. So when I type IT, it's uh, okay. So uh, with uh, where we have been. So as I said, uh, you need to, to copy all these keys. So you just press copy and you write $80-DEF-AUI and you paste the keys. Press enter, it's okay. So now, app application AUI, AT app EUI, and enter. And the app key, AT app key. If you would like to uh, ask what the, what the, for example, diff EUI is, you write uh, question mark, 
and the device responds to you. Okay, so now we should uh, be set up and we can try to send a journal command. So first uh, I need to change uh, the mode to OTAA and I will send the join. So I will long uh, press the right button and if the signal is okay, it is, then you see that the device was recognized and the packet was sent. Perfect. Uh, if you switch to the data, you will see the received data. And now I can uh, choose any Now I can choose uh, any uh, type of packet uh, modulation and it, it, will, it will send the data. See, uh, you can also, so, so this is how you test uh, your LoRa module. And uh, now I would like to show you how to uh, connect this with a TTN mapper. Uh, and it's not uh, that complicated. Uh, all you need to do is in your application choose this integration and you write some uh, you write email address uh, some experiment name which we will uh, need later and you also need uh, to write a decoder for your data for your bytes so the decoder is in the firmware if you take a look in the application directory there's the TTN decoder here and you co copy just uh, the decoder function now because uh, there's also a validator which you would not need right now so I copy the decoder paste it uh, here and save it so now the TTN integration knows what's the latitude, longitude, altitude, and what uh, is the number of satellites. And if you save it, then by using the advanced version with a GPS, which I can show to you. So basically uh, this uses uh, the full-sized battery module uh, the split module, which just creates uh, two towers, and also a little bit. I have to shovel a few things around. Okay, we are running, and the GPS is recognized, but uh, we don't have GPS fixed right now. Uh, I doubt I will get fix uh, in my lab, so this uh, this wouldn't show, but we will see. And uh, then uh, you select the TX data. You will select the GPS and temperature, you, which we would like to, you would like to send, and then you send the data. Uh, right now, I can send the data with with the zeros. So. Uh, maybe it will be better that my integration is called something like that. All right. And now I'll send. Let's send the data. All right. Data are received, and you can see that uh, I have uh, decoded uh, the temperature, but uh, not uh, yet the GPS information. And if I go to the TTN mapper, sorry, this one for example, and I write the name of the test. Then you can see it, it will send it, it, it will show me that I was on the zero zero coordinates because uh, the GPS doesn't still doesn't have the fix. But uh, this name has to correspond uh, with uh, this experiment name. Yeah, so now when you press the button and send the data, it will show appear on, on the map, which is which is what we want. So that's uh, all I wanted to show you. Uh, let me know if you like this kind, this format of video and uh, see you next time.